Okay, everyone, thank you for joining today's Hein Online customer session training session. We are going to talk about the US federal legislative history today and I'm gonna showcase the different ways to search within the database. I do ask that if you have any questions, you please put them into the chat box. My colleague Brianne is going to monitor it. So please send the chat to everyone since I personally will not be answering the questions. And if there are some remaining questions at the end, we will stay a few minutes and answer any of those. So the US Federal Legislative History Library Database is available in Hein Online course subscriptions. There are a few different ways to locate this database on your welcome page. You can simply click on US Federal Content and you'll see it is listed alphabetically here. And this is using the ability to browse databases by category. And secondly, we have browse databases by name. So again, this will be listed alphabetically here in the content that you are subscribed to. And this database contains uh, more than 2,500 titles across 6.5 million pages of content. We do gather resources um, from many different places such as the Government Printing Office, Arnold and Porter, Covington and Berlin, uh, Kirkland and Ellis, and many more sources. So our database is continuing to grow each month. Um, if you do follow our blog, you may have noticed that we added about 91 or 92 legislative histories over the past year. Um, you can see what's available if you check out that blog post. It was just published uh, about a week or two ago. So something to take a look at if you're interested. So we'll enter into the database here. Um, this is a great resource for researching legislative intent behind major public laws. Uh, you can follow the progression of a bill from its introduction into its passage. And it's a great way to gain insight and clarification into ambiguous statutory language. So when you do come into the database, there are a few different ways to search for available legislative histories. You'll see you have the option up here to browse by title, author, date, or subject. And uh, our most popular options are listed here. So you can browse by publication title, public law number, and popular name. So I'm gonna showcase how to use those three different sources. So you'll see for publication title, we do have an available A to Z index right at the top of the page, making it easy to find the title that you have. So if we want to pull up the healthcare reform, a legislative history of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, um, obviously we know that title starts with an H, so we would navigate to that within the A to Z index. Everything will be listed here alphabetically. So you'll see we have that title right here underneath the H index and it provides the public law number as well. If you click on the title, we bring you directly there. We provide you with a nice little search bar here if you're looking for a specific document. So that's one way to pull up a legislative history. Again, if you do have the title of what you're looking for, that could be a helpful feature. If you don't, and maybe you just have a public law number, um, oftentimes working in support, we have people call in and say, I need a legislative history. And the first question we typically ask is, do you have a public law number or a popular name? And uh, this is typically where we start. So maybe we know that the public law number is 111-148. So we know 111 is gonna stand for the Congress number. So we are gonna navigate over to the 111th Congress. This is gonna provide all the legislative histories that fall underneath that Congress. These will all be listed numerically. So you can scroll through the results or you can use your control F function, which is something that I like to use when searching in Hein Online. And in this case, you can simply plug in your number and it will highlight it on the page to easily locate it. So you'll see here, we have the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. Once you find the act, if you click the title, it's going to provide you with the available legislative histories. So you'll see that uh, we have two different legislative histories available here uh, for this act. Again, if you simply click on it, we bring you directly to the title itself. Our third option here is popular name. So maybe again, we know we're looking for the patient 
Protection and Affordable Care Act, but we don't have a public law number, well, you can also search using our A to Z index here. So naturally we would navigate over to the P listing and uh, similar to previous results, it will be listed alphabetically or you can use your control F function. So again, you'll see we would just scroll down and we would find the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act right here. And similar to the last search results, you will see that we have two available. Now, once you click into a title as we did previously, I mentioned that we have a handy search bar up top here. So if you are looking maybe for a specific House or Senate report, uh, if you have the numbers, you can type them in here. Maybe you're looking for some specific verbiage. You can also use this search bar for that. Anytime you are looking for a phrase, we do recommend using quotations around the phrase to easily locate it within the text. You'll notice this has multiple volumes, so this is quite a large legislative history. If you do open up the volume facets, you'll see the indexing that is available for that volume. Alternatively, you can click on cumulative contents and that will open up all of the indexing that our production team has done on this title to make um, documents discoverable for you. So usually within a compiled legislative history, uh, the documents such as the text of the act and the codifications are typically listed first after the table of contents and table of documents. So you'll see we have a lot of those here. We have summary of contents and introduction, um, table of documents, and then you'll notice here is the public law. So if you do wanna read the act, you'll typically find that in the front of the legislative history. And you'll see, I simply clicked on that page which is gonna bring you directly to the citation in the US statutes at large. So you can read through the act itself directly from Hein Online, just clicking on that page. Now, since we do have all the indexing open, you'll notice as I'm scrolling through, you'll see there are various documents in Hein Online for this title, such as um, bills and Senate resolutions, presidential remarks, uh, so legislative histories do contain quite a few um, documents that might be useful for your research. Now, again, using the control F function, let's say maybe I was looking for house report 111-330. So I can use my control F function and just plug in that number. And again, it's gonna find it right on that page. So thanks to the indexing our production team has done, we can easily locate this house report. Simply click on the page link to be directed right to that report. So that's one way to easily locate the documents that you might specifically be looking for uh, within the cumulative contents that are opened. Alternatively, if we didn't enter a legislative history and maybe we just wanted to use Hein Online search features to find some specific items relating to the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, you can always use our advanced search option. So from here, you'll see you have the ability to uh, search by text. And down here, we, you have the ability to find a specific type of section. So if we were just specifically looking for the house report and we didn't wanna go through all those necessary steps to locate it, we could come directly to our advanced search. In the text box, you can simply type in the house report citation here. And I'm gonna uncheck all for section type. And I'm gonna click house report since that's exactly what we're looking for. So you can choose what you're, the type of document you're looking for from the advanced search. So now from the results page, you'll see that we have 11 results. And if I simply were to click on that first result, you'll notice it brings us directly to that house report that we were navigating through in the legislative history title. Alternatively, you can use the full text tab as well. Now from the Hein Online welcome page, your full text tab is going to search across all your subscribed databases. But once you are within a specific database, it's only going to search within that selection. So here you'll see it says search US Federal Legislative History Library. So maybe I know some lingo from that house report, uh, such as quality health care for all. 
I'm going to put that phrase into quotations in the full text tab and click search just to see what I can find here. Sorry about that. So from our results, you'll see we have over 200 results, which is quite a lot and something that um, obviously you're not going to want to sit here and sift through all these results. So similar to the advanced search, we have section type available with the ability to refine your search on the left-hand side here. So if I come to section type and locate house reports, I can simply make that selection and it's gonna drastically change my results from 212 to 11. So what that was doing is it was searching for that phrase across all of the US federal legislative history library. So anytime the phrase quality healthcare for all was found in text, we're providing you with the results. But now with the indexing we've done, we can narrow it down to a house report. Now this may be a little bit more searching because you have to probably open these up. You'll see here, this isn't the exact house report we're looking for on the first document. It's actually a part three of a different report number. So it might just take a few clicks to find what you're looking for, but you'll see that our second result here is exactly that report. So it all depends on the information that you have available and what you're looking for with the various different ways to locate documents within this database. So next we're gonna head over to the sources of compiled legislative histories database. Now this is actually a print resource, print resource excuse me, for federal legislative history research. Um, it's actually a really unique finding aid and we were able to turn it into a searchable database. So um, every few years they do issue a new edition and um, we do have the latest edition integrated into the database here, which is the fourth edition. And from here you can search similarly to how we were before. So you can look by popular name, uh, public law number, Congress, and we also give you the option to search by bill number or related document title. So you can use these search facets here. You also have the ability to browse by Congress, and you also can toggle between that and a list of the public laws that can be found within this print resource. Again, these are going to be listed alphabetically, and you can just navigate through the A to Z index. In this case, let's go back to our Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, and let's say we're gonna browse by the 111th Congress. So here we have a lot of information in front of us. On the left-hand side, you'll find the public law number with its corresponding bill number. You'll find a link to the statutes at large to view the text of the act. And then we'll have a link here that's gonna bring you to the bibliography for the act. So again, you can scroll through. It will be listed alphabetically by act name here, but you can also just use your control F function and search for 111-148, or you can search for Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. So again, you'll see there's the um, public law number. We can go right to that statutes at large, and here's the link to the bibliography. Now, once I click this, it's going to provide me with a wealth of information. So at the top here, we have any articles in Hine Online that cite this public law number. And um, that's something that we are able to integrate because of our scholar check. If you're not familiar with that, we're always checking for cited articles and cases. So you'll see here, we have a large number of articles that do cite this public law number. And you can sift right through those by simply clicking on that hyperlink. Again, there's that link to the statutes at large. The first two results here, or depending on how many legislative histories this print resource lists, you'll see the uh, titles for the legislative histories up top here. Anything that is hyperlinked in blue is available in Hein Online and will simply take you right to that document. Underneath the list of available legislative histories are any articles that um, were relevant to this public act based on what can be found in the print resource. And again, anytime you click on any of these hyperlinks, they will bring you directly to that document within Hine Online. And similar to what I had mentioned about um, some of our scholar check features, you might notice some blue hyperlinking and footnotes in Hine Online, whether it's to a journal, a uh, case, 
um, any kind of citation within Heinlein and even outside sources you'll see here, we do link you. So if you do need to further your research when reading through a document, uh, those are actually very helpful. So next we have legislative reference checklist. This is a book that is basically just going to list some of the key legislative histories from 1789 to 1903. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check that out. And we also have external links here. So um, we're always trying to supplement our users with any outside information that might be relevant and help them with their research. So you'll see there's some available links here. Just for example, if I were to click on important legislative history links, that's gonna bring you to another listing. Uh, you'll see here, this is a practitioner's guide to compiling documents and sifting for legislative intent. And just to show you some of the things that we link out to, this is actually a really detailed outline um, of how to do just that. So if you are looking for additional help, check out our external links. And lastly, if you do happen to leave this webinar and uh, you maybe forgot what we went through or you know it's in a week or two and you wanna go back and do exactly what I was doing but you couldn't quite remember, we do have a LibGuide available. So again, you'll find that right within the breadcrumb trail of the database. And this is for any database in Hein Online that has a LibGuide, you will find it there. So our LibGuide will provide you with an overview of content that you can find within the collection will provide you with how to browse and search within the database, some examples. So this is um, similar to what we just went over. Provide you with some examples of how to do advanced searching. Uh, you'll see here, we cover the sources of compiled legislative histories and how to search within that subcollection. We also provide you with related blog posts that are relevant to the database and use the database for searching as well. Um, I know someone had mentioned um, do we have a link to our blog? And um, I just wanted to showcase that these are just some of the databases we've used the US Federal Legislative History Library for researching. So something to also take a look if you have some extra time and uh, you find this interesting. Here is the uh, blog I mentioned about the breakdown of the legislative histories we've added in the past uh, 12 months. You can find them all here. And with that, if anyone ever needs some additional help, our Hein Online support team is available from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Obviously, you'll see that live chat in the upper right-hand corner. You can click that at any time to be linked with one of our Hein Online support members. You can also find our email and phone number if you want to contact us alternatively that way. And that is all I have to, for today. This will um, be, this is recorded and I will be sending a recording of it to all the registrants that signed up for this webinar. So uh, keep a lookout in your email if you wanna view this at a later date or if you wanna share it with a friend or colleague. And I do see we have a question here. Can we use the same techniques to research private bills and private laws? Yes. This is, um, this is actually just basic searching techniques in Hein Online. Um, so this isn't even just relevant to the US Federal Legislative History Library. It's actually just how you can search in general in Hein Online. Uh, we also do have a search help option that's always gonna be located underneath the stationary search bar. When you click that, you'll see a list of the search syntax on the left-hand side with an example of how to use that search syntax on the right-hand side. And if you happen to be a seasoned uh, researcher, we do recommend checking out our advanced search syntax guide. Is there any other questions? Go Bills. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and upcoming weekend.